Dr. Brunhaver here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got the camera going. We are. This is... Uh, Tell us what you're doing. Well, we're doing a little bit of room tuning stuff, I guess you'd call it. So we're, we're setting up active studio monitors here at Octave Records. And um, at, in the low bass, you know, there, there's some optimization you can do. Um, and we're doing some DSP filter work just to get the bass as linear over the listening area as we can. Um, so we're, we're doing some spatial measurements. You know across the listening positions and taking a look uh, for where things are common mm -hmm. you know there's uh, you, you, you know you you kind of try to do things like a doctor first do no harm so we don't want to EQ things that aren't are gonna hurt the performance but if you can you can use equalization in the bass to not only correct frequency response but time response so the the room modes that hang in time and are a ring like a bell at low frequency uh, when you E equalize them out they actually don't hang in the room as long um, so it, it corrects both of those things which is nice so um, you know, we're doing it by hand there are some softwares that will do this automatically or things you can use to help optimize it I'm actually using a free piece of software called room EQ wizard to do the measurements which is uh, Great well, tool. And it's nice that we also have the person who designed the speakers. Well, there's that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we, there's your measurement microphone. Yeah, yeah, we have a nice silver Earthworks mic. And um, the, the, this is a, uh, we, we still haven't painted them yet. Oh, they, they need a little. They need a little paint. Shine, yeah. yeah, but these are near field, custom near field monitors that Chris has built based on the FR30. Yeah. And there was what, a, a 33 hertz and a 75 hertz? Mode. Mode yeah, bump, right. yeah. yeah. And so we're just knocking those out. Um, in the case of you know peaks and dips, you really can't do much about dips if it's a cancellation. The more energy you put into it, the more it cancels, so you're really not going to correct it too much. Yep. Um, but you can remove peaks. There's also some software that can help people. Um, there's this thing, uh, a guy wrote a pretty cool little um, program called Multi-Sub Optimizer Tool. If you're doing multiple subwoofers in a room, we're doing two in this room. Um, but if you're doing more, you can, you can use a tool like that to help because it gets pretty complex when you're looking at trying to look at how each sub operates on its own and then how it operates together. So some of these softwares like that are good. Um, there's also a tool, um, that some AV receivers have, um, the, Deer, uh, the guys at Dirac have a new subwoofer optimization thing, but we're doing it by hand here and it's, uh. You know, just because you have the know-how and the, the built-in DSP on these monitors. So Nice. Well, yeah. good. All right. Well, we're going to keep keep watching you here. Oh, okay. Well, um... So now you're going to go ahead and, and, and program those same... Yeah, so I've already done my measurements. Um, so now we're just going to implement some filters. Uh, we're actually um, using a tool uh, that someone had developed here from the guys at Hypex, Hypex Electronics did. So um, I am just going to enter in some parametric EQ. Yep, and getting the monitors fairly flat within this room wasn't that hard. And it's and you can come around to the back and you can see these are the custom Hypex modules that uh, Chris and Chet put in that has the DSP. It's a three-way system, what, about 500 watts? Is that? Yeah, there's 500 watts to the woofer section, 250 watt to the mid base, 250 to the mid-range and 100 yeah. to the tweeter maximum. You can set limiting and, and other things to, you know, to dial in how much sure. power you want to let it actually go to. Sure. But in our case, we're, we have them pretty wide open right now. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, the subwoofers have some EQ in them, so they're flat to 10 hertz in room. And then we have some configurable cutoff for, for different mm -hmm. um, low frequency targets. If someone doesn't want, you know, that bottom octave for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, and, and you know, you can kind of have a couple different um, presets if, if you're looking for, yeah. um, you know, so it's nice you can recall that stuff on these. They have, a th you know, three presets for different settings. In our case, we're, we're keeping it all the same for the most part. Yep, we mostly want flat. This is just going to, <clears throat> this isn't in the mix. This is just going to help us choose microphone placement um, and get the tracking right. So, yeah. all right. Well, thank you, Chris. Yeah, there's a little... Uh, little geeky bit here and I'm gonna go program some more EQ in here. Okay, right. thanks. thanks.